you promise? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Hey, so Nathan, we're curious. Your first reaction losing the Facebook group. You know, what are you, yeah, you going to do? I felt like there's a lot of weight lifted off my shoulders because I, I, when I started that group, I would sleep for two or three hours, bro, and I'd wake up. And I have such a commitment to the truth of flat earth that like I was like, is anyone cursing? Is anyone insulting our members? They're gonna go. They're gonna, we're gonna boot their ass, you know what I mean? I don't care. But after four years of doing that and then deleting the group, I feel like a giant weight was lifted off my shoulders. You know what I mean? And uh, now I want to start a new group and it's just flat earth. We're not gonna debate global because we did that for four years. Okay, that's how we made a name for ourselves. We're showing that they have no argument. We're showing that they don't test Earth themselves. Show that they blindly believe everything the government tells them. Show that they're all pre-programmed to ask the same 10 or 20 questions. Where's the edge? Are all astronauts lying? Show me a picture of the flat Earth, or the entire flat Earth. It's all straw man, all fallacies. And so, to be honest, I feel like they set me free, dude. Okay, great. You know, I feel so good. Good to hear. Um, because, like, I, honestly, I didn't think we would get over 100,000 members. Yeah. And we've got 100,000 members for three years. You know what I mean? And, and, and we would add 1,200 members a week, and the group would affect in members 500 members a week. And we're like, man, they are hiding. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a quarter million or half a million people in the group, and they were just hiding the member count, you know, somehow in this algorithm. So, in my opinion now, Dude, anyone who comes in, acts like person globe, ask questions about globe earth, how do you explain this? Look, you're booted. You're booted, okay? Like, you're either a flat earther and you're trying to figure everything out, which is cool, you know? You understand space. We're not blasting through space. The earth's not a globe, unfortunately, that NASA shows us. And large bodies of water don't curb it. If you can't figure that out, we don't need to talk about Sigma Cantus. We don't need to talk about moon phases. We don't need to talk about Mars and Saturn. We don't need to talk about uh, seasons. We don't talk about an edge. We don't talk about any of that crap, okay? And so you realize the surface of Earth does a curve and it's not spinning a thousand miles an hour. You're not welcomed in the new group. Sorry. What's your favorite flat Earth group? Favorite one would be fluid statics. When large bodies of water are at rest, they do not curve. The surface is level and horizontal to the container. So fluid statics, in my opinion, 70% of the Earth's surface is water. Every globe head knows that. When you teach them physics of water and how water at rest is curving, it's not convex. It's perfectly flat. That's why they call it sea level. The word level means free of bends, curves, or irregularity. So it's not it's not bending. It's not irregular. It's Synonyms are plumb, flush, flat, straight. So when they say sea level, they're saying sea flat. They're saying sea plumb, sea flat, sea straight. You know. So and and what's funny is you don't see curve, right? So when you see you seeing straight on. So it's kind of redundant to say sea level. That is kind of an oxymoron. It's the sea. That's why you can see so far, guys. There's no topography. There's no trees, there's no buildings, there's no people in your way asking you, well, how do you explain star rotation, right? So, I think fluid statics would be the number one. The second best one, my favorite one to go with, and this is great for debating. Anytime I'm in a debate, does the Earth rotate under things or not? Because the religion teaches the ball Earth rotates under things, guys. Bob allegedly proved it on Netflix. But if the Earth rotates under a Sagnac interferometer or ring laser gyroscope, it would have to rotate under hot air balloons, cannons shot straight up, helicopters, planes flying east and west, and this east would have drastically different times for their arrivals. Like, uh, this is so basic, guys, that when something goes up in the air, like you jump, you don't land in a different spot. That's what the globe religion says, dude. That's a goofy, the globe religion. So if you, if you can adjust the aperture in your eyes, right, so you can let in enough information, enough life, enough knowledge into your brain, and you're not narrow-minded, and you're going to see, of course, everything he's been talking about, everything I've been talking about, Everything we've all been talking about, it's not some conspiracy theory, it's reality. So, When's the last time you watched Authentic Intent? Oh man, honestly, maybe six months ago or so. Um, like, I love what you do. You're more relaxed than me, you know? Um, you have a different approach. 
You want? You, I, I love flat snacking. You love flat yeah. snacking. <laughs> but my, your flat snacking. It's like walk into it. Uh, yeah. My right. class match like fishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going. I'm going for juggler. Yeah. Dude, for sure. yeah. It's a different style. That's what's great. That's what's different style. Yeah. And you know what? Yours is good. Yeah. Mine is good. Yeah. Everyone has that because different strokes for different folks, right? <laughs> so people that I'll get, they won't respond to me. But Josh will get. Yeah. And the people that are too mellow and think they freaking know everything yeah. that Josh can't get, I'm gonna make you look. Like Idiot. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make you feel so stupid. The reg. Promise the you. Reg, Promise you. Hit me up. We'll debate. Uh, I'm happy to. Cause, cause I know you guys have nothing. You're gonna run a group of 140,000 globe heads, and they all just ask questions. They don't test anything themselves. And if they did, they wouldn't even believe the results. But they don't test anything themselves. Yeah. That's your first problem, globe heads. Yeah. The first freaking problem. best, dude. That's your freaking best, dude. For sure, man. Yeah. You're awesome too, dude. Love you, bro. You're awesome. This is, this is like a, uh, a revival. Amen. You know, this really is. Like, just, know, wait. Yeah. Because this is going to carry on. Because people are like in the chat earlier, I saw some people say like, what's the point of having a bunch of people who already think the earth is flat together? Well, we leave, we'll leave, and then we'll go to where we need to go, right? And then we'll spread our... How we deliver the truth our way and keep people on fire because yeah, I've been to revivals before. But there's something you know? I don't understand there is that when I leave Josh, he goes with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His spirit goes with me. You know what I mean? So the koinonia, the camaraderie, the fellowship, it's not just here. When we leave, we all leave together, guys. We're on, we're the same team. You know what I mean? And so. But Glovers don't have that. Yeah. Glovers can't even agree if we went to the moon or not. Glovers can't even agree if vaccines are good or not. Glovers can't even agree if they should vote for Trump or Biden. Like, hey, they are so polarized. They are so split up and divided. So at least we can all agree that the surface of Earth doesn't curve. It's not spinning a thousand miles an hour. There's no real pictures of the Earth in space. So like, when you have that common ground, why would you not meet with those people? Yeah. Like, like, you're meeting with a bunch of globe heads you have no common ground with, except for we all believe the bullshit yeah. we'll talk about. Freaking... We all talk about sports. Let's talk. Ooh, sports. Hey, did you watch that Oklahoma State game earlier today? Weather. Gamecocks? Weather. Oh my gosh. Did you see the new movie where they were killing everyone? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Such a great yeah. movie. I love that movie. How many times did you count when they said Jesus Christ or G Damn It in yeah. the movie? Yeah. You know, like, get out, like, separate yourself from all that. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of the closet, flat earthers. I think we have a lot more closet flat earthers than we should. And so okay. just get out there. Have you heard what the word matrix actually means? What's that? A mold. A mold. Back in the day, when they would make pots and pans, they would pour the molten metal or molten whatever the end of a matrix into the mold. So when we were young, we all got poured into the mold, and the mold is First, the government, they love us. Watch, play video games, watch porn, and, and watch violent video games, and, and just care about yourself. Make sure you go to work. It doesn't matter if we're being lied to. Make sure you vote. Yeah, yeah, make sure you vote, especially this right now. So it is a mold. It is a matrix. Make sure you wear a mask. It is a system. And once you're out of that system, like and you have eyes to see and ears to hear, it is so obvious. It's unbelievable, you know? So why would you not meet with those other people that are outside the matrix? Why would you not do that? It is like one of the most important things you could do as a truther, seeking truth, is get around people who are like-minded because I promise you, I don't care how long you've been researching this, you don't know it all, right? Like, you can't, you might be able to research flat earth all day, but you can't research the brain all day. And if you can research flat earth and the brain all day, you can't research nutrition all day. If you can research nutrition and flat earth and the brain all day, you can't research scripture all day. So, different strokes for different folks. Pe people have different expertise. And you gotta listen to those people with the, their expertise. Take what is good, dismiss what is not, and add what is ever your own. That's what Bruce Lee said. Yeah, for sure. It's great. Yeah. Good stuff, man. That's my Kanye. It man. is. I love you guys, dude. Love Thanks. you too. Please go follow me. Uh, my name is Nathan Thompson on YouTube. I'm striked right now, so I can't post until Tuesday. But they just deleted the official Flat Earth and Globe discussion on Facebook. We had 140,000 members. Allegedly, if we believe what they're telling us. But uh, we started a new group. It's called the Official Flat Earth and you know, Official Flat Earth Discussion. No Globe. We're not talking to Globers anymore. Don't come in the group and pretend it's Globe. Don't ask us how Star Trails work. That's all BS, okay? Every Flat Earther learned that the first week, okay? If you're asking that, go to one of the other Flat Earth groups.
check back with us in two weeks. That's right, Dave. Okay. Yeah. Good to see you. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, much love. Yeah, Anything you need, let me know. Yeah, for sure, man.